There are many flatworms which are parasitic, meaning their survival depends on living in or on other hosts and requiring resources from that. One amazing example of this is the brood sacs. Now the brood sacs are acquired by snails from ingesting the eggs in bird droppings. Once the parasite is consumed by the snail, it transforms into a form called the sporocyst, which infects the snail's gut. Now a second sporocyst then forms from that, which develops in the eye stalk or tentacle of the snail. This sporocyst changes colour, pulsates, flashes bright colours and looks quite like a caterpillar or maggot. And the parasite also makes the snail move out into more open and well-lit areas, where it's more likely to be hunted on by a bird. Once ingested by the bird, the parasite develops again and then produces eggs that go back out into the bird droppings and the life cycle starts all over again.